He mad as fuck. Nigga, we went riding through my grandma neighborhood, passed by two dudes. <laughs> that was my brother's uh, friends. Nigga say, y'all smashing my daughter too? Child, let me tell y'all something. My daddy has publicly embarrassed me. Dad, if you watching this, you did. Hell, don't, 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 don't be getting sensitive. <laughs> he thought, you know, I was out there doing the nasty. So he was hot. 38. Hot. You hear me? Hey, so Eddie. Yeah. Let me talk my shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Uh. Yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me tell my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. See, y'all, Jaden bought me some seafood, <sighs> and that causes for a mukbang. But what the hell we gonna talk about? Let's just eat. <laughs> Say our grace. So. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, we are back with another freaking video. And it's a mukbang. And we're going to be talking about some stuff. Now, what we talking about? I don't know, child. I don't even know. But we're going to talk about something. Mm. Mm -hmm. When you get seafood and don't expect it, It's a good thing. So y'all, how y'all been liking the pranks? I think they're hilarious. And I don't think nobody prank better than we do. Period. Mm -hmm. mm. Just deliciousness. I need a top it. Let me tell y'all about the time my real mama kidnapped me and my daddy came and rescued me. Some of y'all might think I'm lying. Cause the story so crazy. But it's really true. All right, listen, I'm chilling. I was a child. I was uh, young. I ain't gonna say what age I was. <laughs> Cause the series of events of what I went through was terrible. I'm gonna explain to y'all why I got so upset about that little girl. When I was young, I used to go to this church. This church was full of young people. Young people having babies and you know what I'm saying they mama's young we young whatever except my grandmother I was going to church with my grandma and um I, everybody had a little boyfriend or something you know had something going on child being fast and I was definitely one of the ones that was being fast I was a uh, um I'm still pretty, you know, I know I am, but I was a pretty little feminine girl back in the day, and um, I got on the band for the church, kept talking my people into it, like, man, let me get on the band, it's boring, it's boring. When you the only person at church that ain't knowing nothing. <laughs> like I didn't live with my grandma, but I went over to her house on the weekend. And I knew going over her house on the weekends, I was gonna end up going to church. And like I say, this was the this was the fun church. Everything going on that ain't supposed to be going on. Literally. But um I'm going to church or whatever. No, we, we, it was one of the days to do something for the parade or whatever. So, 
I'm in the parade. If I ain't mistaken, I think I just held up a sign or something. I ain't really do shit. And, um, after the parade or whatever, we come back to the church. Now, the boys was really fast. Fast as hell. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, <clears throat> we go, they asked me to come upstairs, two dudes that I know. And at this time, I wasn't having sex or nothing. Um, you know, fast little chap shit. So, they asked me to come upstairs. I went because I'm nosy. I wanted to see what the hell they wanted. Like what? <laughs> and um, they were in the men's bathroom. So they asked me to come in there, and I'm like, for what? I asked them. They're like, why? You know what I'm saying? Man, just come in here with my stupid ass. I went in there. They throws a condom on the on the counter. Bam! I'm like, uh, what? You, what is that for? They like. Both of them wanted to, you know, do nasty stuff to me. I'm like, first of all, this is a church and we're not doing this in the church. That's number one. But number two, I'm not doing that at all because I never did that before. So, <laughs> yeah. Number three, not for both of y'all. Hey, y'all think this is you? So, in the midst of me explaining this, the elevator is right beside. <clears throat> The church. I mean, the um, the bathroom. Somebody coming up the elevator. I run out the bathroom. It wasn't, nobody even caught me. So I don't even understand how I got snitched on. But anyway, my grandma found out. And whatever she found out, I still don't know because I ain't even do shit. Y'all, I ain't do nothing. And my grandma found out. So she told my daddy. Y'all, my daddy came and got me from school. Now, I didn't have the nicest father growing up. Um, he was just very assertive and you know um, he was the one to pretty much discipline me because I was his child so he thinking I'm lying he done heard something crazy as hell about his daughter Thinking I'm lying on this, some nasty shit, which I didn't. He mad as fuck. Nigga, we went riding through my grandma's neighborhood, passed by two dudes. <laughs> that was my brother's uh, friend. Nigga say, y'all smashing my daughter too? Child, let me tell y'all something. My daddy has publicly embarrassed me. Dad, if you watching this, you did. Hell, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't be getting sissy. <laughs> he thought, you know, I was out there doing the nasty. So he was hot. 38. Hot. You hear me? But I wasn't. But anyway, uh, he had asked me some questions. Like, I bet you were doing this. I bet you were doing that. What you wasn't. You threatened me with the belt and shit. And if you get whooped by your, by your daddy, a man. You be scared too, nigga. <laughs> so, I was scared. Lying like shit. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I'm lying. <clears throat> he didn't whoop me. So, whatever. I'm going to say whatever you want me to say. Because you mad. You not whooping me when I lie? Fuck it. Anyway, he said a bunch of crazy shit. Blah, blah, blah. So, I had called... Uh, my sperm holder 
And I was like, yo, I'm scared. I was scared. <laughs> I was scared of my daddy because he was so mad, child. He done, he thought I done did some shit I never did. And it was like, oh, hell no. Nah. So, she said she was going to come up here and get me. She did. Huh? My brother. I forgot who else was with them. Damn sure did. Came and got me. So when she came. I'm chilling. They like. We taking you back. What up? And I was like what? They was like yeah nigga. You, you know you acting like you scared as hell. I was. I didn't know what my daddy was going to do. Because he was going crazy. <laughs> so. Chad, they kidnap me. We drive all the way, 14 hours away. I ain't told my daddy nothing. So, I don't even know how they talk to each other. Or what? But when I ended up getting on the phone with him, you know, my dad was like, I'm gonna let you stay up there for the summer. You know. And shit, I'm relieved. I'm like, hell yeah. And my bro my older brother, love that nigga to death. I was I got to be around him. So I was with him. So my brother. First day I get up there, he drunk as hell. He was 21. Drunk as hell. Do you hear me? And um he Damn, he picked me up and we went to one of my uncle's house. He slept for like the whole day. <laughs> and then, you know, I got to kick it with him. So anyway, I'm up there summertime, summertime. One day I, I got a little boyfriend, his name was Jane. My neighbor, cute brother. I know he real fine now, he's a nice looking brother. But, um. I was like, um, you know, Mom, can I go to the movies with James? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, you gonna pick me up? She said, yeah. Child, why? I went to the movie. Move on. I ain't got no phone or no nothing. So, after the movie over with, James was like, shit, I can take you home. I mean, I, you could ride with me to go home. His homeboy was driving, and I'm like, no. Y'all don't even know how old I was. <laughs> and around this age, I ain't trying to do that. I don't know who your homeboy is. I'm this age, so how the hell? You that age, and your homeboy driving? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so, I ain't go with them. The good mama that raised me, raised me a little different. Don't trust niggas. Don't get your heart to no buster. <laughs> That's what she call them, buster. And, um, you know, watch stuff. So, I took that while I was out there. I was like, nah. My mama said she gonna come get me. The sperm holder. So, he like, all right. Y'all, I don't have no phone. Shit. I don't have no phone. So even if I were to call him back and see if he could come get me, he couldn't. So, child, long story short, she ain't come get me. She did not come get me. My brother ended up coming to the movies because Baby Boy came out. That's how I got home. That's how I got home. Child, the movies didn't close to about what? One, two o'clock? He walk in there about 12, 30. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> I think those were his exact words. And I was like, bro, it ain't my fault. She said I could go to the movie. She said she was gonna pick me up. 
She did. Nigga, now we here. He was like, oh, no. So, I'm assuming he done called my daddy. Child, the next morning, seemed like, or the next day, my daddy came to pick my ass up. <laughs> but, yeah, that was crazy. I was 11. Well, I wanted y'all to wait around and see how old I was. I was 11. That's young. You know what I'm saying? It was too young to really go to the movie, didn't it? But he was a respectful dude. Like, there wasn't on no bullshit. Um, that's what happened when I got kidnapped, y'all. Other than that, this food is good. I'm hot. It's time to get back to recording my video. If y'all want to hear more story times from me, let me know. You heard? Yeah. I can eat a little something in the process. Go on. But I love y'all. Well, I ain't done eating half. I don't mind. Keep talking. But listen, y'all. If you want to be successful on YouTube, let me give y'all some other freaking tips. Tip number one. <clears throat> Don't look at nobody else's views. Don't look at nobody else's views. Okay? That ain't gonna get you nowhere. Just because they views like that don't mean your views gonna be like that. Just because your views like that don't mean they views gonna be like that. Just because your views like that right now don't mean it won't be like that later. Or don't mean they won't be better later. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Constantly looking at the scale when you're trying to lose weight and you see you ain't losing none Or that's going slow slower than you thought you see your body look like you don't lost a whole bunch of weight But that ain't what the scale say So then you get discouraged and then you don't want to work out no more. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just doing it for no reason That's the best analogy that I could give y'all Don't do it. It's like poison Step number two don't try to do what everybody else doing. Example. If you're going to do reactions, do them your way. Not somebody else's way. If you're going to do pranks, do pranks your way. Not the way other people do them. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it with that. Oh, shit. Step number three, do not do it for the money. Don't do it for the money. I'm trying to tell you, you will really, really want to quit then. When it becomes about money, it's no longer worth it. You'll never get the amount of money you want. Especially when you see other niggas. Ooh, shit. That's crazy. When you see other niggas making more money than you, you putting in more work. There's some YouTubers out here right now that don't put in nowhere near <clears throat> as much work as I put in. Don't care about y'all as much as I care about y'all. And they don't do none of the shit that I do. That I know. Listen, y'all. Y'all want more mukbangs? Let me know. I will give them to y'all. We're going to go ahead and go on to the next video. I love y'all. We out. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel and you can get it from me yes me i do everything i print out the logo i cut the logo i pick the logo i also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt then i press it down okay one two three pop open then you got the best logo out in the world okay 
and I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.